we're doing one personal box of Euro Select. One personal box of Euro Select for James Barber. Good luck, James. Thank you so much. Uh, good luck, good luck. Let's hope it's a good one. How come breaks seem to be late at night? You know, Carlos, uh, the way it started was I started breaking part-time. I was a full-time attorney, and I used to work during the day, and I would break at night. That's kind of how it started. And then what happened was over the years, I would always get on around 7, 8, 9 o'clock and stay on till you know, pretty late. Uh, and that kind of just stuck. And then I kind of developed an audience during those hours. And quite frankly, um, I mean, I could get on a little bit earlier, but generally speaking, breaks were like, at least in the U.S. here, it was more of like a night thing. I know for a lot of you, it's a day thing, but uh, anyway, those are kind of the hours I fell into and we just kind of stuck with them. And they seem to work because, you know, a lot of my U.S. followers are the late night guys and then in Canada are the late night guys and then we've got the early morning European crowd that jumps in and it seems to work fine for Asia and Australia the hours so uh, honestly it's just kind of what I always have done and it just kind of stuck that way when I would break too I break with George a lot and George was like a late night guy so I always just kind of um, just always been doing it this way but I do want to try to maybe move it up a couple of hours some days because uh as I'm getting older, these, you know, 3 a.m. is still good, but when I break to like 5, 6 a.m., that's pretty, uh, pretty difficult. Good luck, good luck. All right, let's pull some sickness. How about top of the class, Raheem Sterling to start? Nice top of the class, Raheem the Dream, Sterling. Oh, look at that. You got a zebra. Good luck. It's usually a good thing when you get a zebra. Because usually it means the auto is pretty good too. Whoa. Goal. Golazo para Polonia. Sick, sick, sick. I tell you, this box was sitting there for like a month. I was like... Might as well break this one. I don't know. I've just been sitting there by itself. I don't know why there was only one box left, but there you go. It's always that last box that's been sitting there a long time. That is 666. Six, six. These aren't numbered, but they are very rare. Uh, yeah, pretty expensive. I'm not sure exactly, to be honest with you, but I do know these zebras sell for big bucks. So uh, probably not as much as Sancho, but still it should be a pretty high dollar one. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was going to guess about 400, 500. Uh, Ziuba, silver. Yeah, I would, ch I don't know. Does anybody check eBay to see what those go for? Raheem Sterling to 225. Wow, look at that. You got a you got a tie-dye, I think, coming up too. No, it's just a blue, not a tie-dye. To 175, Jakub Yanko. Silver Kovalenko. It's just a patch. Alvaro Morata. Uh, 
patch. A little Harry Kane, red, white, and blue. Very nice. I know that's true, but usually when we get these, like, Panini tends to put, like, the one per case cards with the better autos because that's easier for them to sort that way or to, to package that way, but we'll see. So it usually means the auto that goes with the Zebra should usually be a pretty decent one. Speaking of autos, there it is. Langlet. Save that. That's your auto right there. How about a tie-dye to 25? Karaman. Kenan Karaman for Turkey. Red, white, and blue. Toibio for Finland. Red Selick. It's Tom Selick's nephew right there to 165. Ustaish Alaba. Joe Allen to 149. All right. Good luck, good luck. Let's see what we can do. One time, come on. How about a Ronaldo auto or something insane like that? That would be pretty sweet. I'll take it. All right, here we go. Good luck, good luck. Just your base autograph. Base auto, so nothing uh, colored. Oh, I guess so. Tomas Vermeulen. Unfortunately, nothing too sexy there. Still a very nice box there with the Lewandowski Zebra. That definitely pays for the box, I think. Tomas Vermeulen. It's kind of a bummer though. No Sancho or Mbappe. That was kind of lame. Not a single Sancho. Those seem to come in bunches. Some boxes we hit multiple Sanchos and Mbappes. Other ones, nada. Anyway, you had the top of the class. You had Selic. Karaman to 25, Allen, Sterling Blue to 225, Yanko to 175, Alvaro Morata Patch, Harry Kane, Red, White, Blue, Vermeulen Auto, not numbered, and that was the big boom. Anyway, thanks again, James get this packed up for you actually i have quite a few cards for you james i was going to say you probably want to do ups because uh you know with that many cards uh, i couldn't ship it in a small package anyway because you can only do a max of one pound and you have quite a bit more than that Uh, I don't slab, I don't uh, mag, the, if you want me to mag it, uh, I'll be glad to mag it for you. I wouldn't recommend magging those cards that are very condition sensitive and you might want to grade them. Uh, but I'll, if you want it magged, I'd be glad to do that.
Oh, slab it. You mean grade it. Okay, I thought you meant for me to put it in a in a thing. But yeah, you, you might want to grade it. Definitely. Tinky, what's up, brother? Ho oh, ho, he's back. He's back from his date. Oh, he's just about to, jeez. Tinky just starts his date at like 11 o'clock at night. I'll be like, I'll swing by your house at 11. You're swinging by your, it sounds more like a booty call, man. <laughs> it's that a day. I'm swinging by your house. I hope she's not watching. I'm sure she's a very fine young lady and it is nothing like that. Yes, uh, James, uh, that was James Barber. Make sure I put the name on there correctly. It's always tinky time somewhere. That's right. What time is it in your neck of the woods, Tinky, right now? What time is it in Australia? Can't be that late, right? What is it, like nine, 10 o'clock, 11, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock? Yes, I did see that. Jasper stopped in here. I will shoot on my... Uh, I'll shoot them my info. Guys, just so you guys know, before I go to sleep here, I'm going to post a couple of breaks. I am working on... Yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. I, I am uh, pretty beat, but I'm going to post a few breaks here before I go to sleep. Uh, I'm working on right now, I'm going to do Chronicles. Uh, there's two Chronicles in the store, but they're almost both almost sold out. So I'll throw up two more Chronicles right now. All right, thank you, Tinky. Thank you, Jack, Tinky, Dear Fair. Uh, I will put more museum. Yes, I will put more museum in the store right now too. So give me about 15 minutes. I will put up some new breaks in here uh, before I go to bed. And uh, that way they can sell all day and night while I'm sleeping. And uh, hopefully we can get to some of them tomorrow. Uh, every time I break, you get into the house. All right. I got to keep breaking then. All right, thank you, James. Thank you, Mark, Harry, Jack. Oh, Mark Yin, welcome, man. You you killed it. You killed it with that uh, Ronaldinho. Congrats. Uh, Mother of all soccer breaks. Uh, ho I'm hoping by early January. That's what my hope is, like after Christmas. Uh, that's my goal, but we'll see. We'll see if I can pull it off. All right, thank you, Malk. See you. Thank you, Ryan, Jai. Slavish, uh, thank you, Brian. Thanks again, guys. I'm out of here. Good night.